Hi, here we come with a brand new video in which we are going to discuss how to become a teenage millionaire. Success Stories Before the start of the video, kindly subscribe to our channel for new and interesting updates. Making the first million is one of the most significant milestones. The start of a financial venture for economic success for many businessmen. Blood, sweat and tears are expended and not always in a metaphorical sense. Not everyone has the entrepreneurial spirit and it takes economic talent and good risk assessment to pursue the right path. But our focus here isn't on the seasoned businessman, rather it's how a teenage millionaire is born, endowed with a business-oriented mind that may seek to achieve such a goal. Let's look at some of the incredible successful teenage billionaire company stories to see how this works in practice. Number 5. The Story of Crisp's Founder and CEO Adam Hildreth Adam, who was born and raised in Leeds, West Yorkshire, came up with the idea for Dubit, one of the most well-known English social networking sites aimed at teenagers by teenagers. When he was 14 years old and sitting in his bedroom with six of his friends, little did they know at the time that Dubit would grow into a $3.7 million company with a net worth. It was centered around a blend of fun and education, which explains how it drew in the youth mob and provided that audience with the necessary content to feel its exponential development. Dubit evolved from its brilliant cocoon to become a corporation focused on the market with the same original mission to entertain and educate. Dubit is a marketing firm that now targets the brightest young brains not just in the UK but around the globe to provide ideas for major businesses to use in creating the ideal items for the youthful target market. They do market research and study the always changing demands of the young people. According to Guinness World Records, when the company's youngest directors grow older, their contribution matured into a thorough knowledge of the developing mind and a professional attitude towards the young people with fresh ideas. And that's how Adam and his six companions were able to carry out the strategy that made him a millionaire by the age of 16. Number 4. Matty Bradshaw, The Road to Teenage Millionaire how many times have you gone shopping with a concept in mind only to discover that there was nothing in the store that fit your description? When Maddie Bradshaw, age 10, decided to decorate her school locker, she found herself in this predicament. Maddie was driven to come up with a solution and to her help, an odd gift from her uncle, who had a non-functioning Coke machine, offered her a bright idea decorate the 50 bottle caps she received from him and transform them into 50 little works of art. Maddie didn't stop there. She also added magnets to the back of the caps to make them stick to the inside of the metal locker. Her friends were enthralled by her decoration and begged to join the soon-to-be trending decoration action that had the entire school on its feet. But that was just the beginning. With the help of her encouraging mother, 12 years old Maddie only had a few hundred dollars to launch her career. But Maddie started thinking bigger, and the bottle caps turned into cute jewelry called snap caps, necklaces with interchangeable add-ons. A magnetic pendant enabled the cap to latch onto the metallic necklace. Maddie wanted to present a design that distinctively reflected each girl's personality. Maddie earned her first million dollars by the time she was 13 after working on the bottle cap design with her sister. Bradshaw later made an appearance on the television program Shark Tank, which allowed business owners to pitch their plans to a group of the financiers known as Sharks. Maddie Bradshaw was able to convince three Sharks to buy snap caps while she was a guest on the program. The young millionaire was able to grow her company as a result 
and achieve even greater success. Number 3. Tax Sale to Yahoo by Nick Delisio Nick was born in London in 1995. Shortly after his birth, his family relocated to Australia. They then moved back to London, where he was raised. Delisio had a remarkable idea when he was 15 years old that would later prove to be a very important in enhancing the material on the internet. The invention called Trimit at the time analytically condensed walls of text into 1,500 or 140 character abstracts. This attracted the attention of a billionaire investor who allowed Delisio to become the youngest developer to receive venture capital funding in the field of technology. He received venture funding of at least $300,000 as a result of the app being highlighted by the Apple as an interesting app. Nick took on board all the criticism, completely redesigned the application, and then re-released it as Sumly. The goal of Sumly was to address problems with how online news is perceived on the smartphones. The first version of the app received over 200,000 downloads, and with additional support, Delivesio received another venture funding in 2012, this time for $1 million, thanks to numerous international celebrities. One year later, in 2013, Sumly was sold to Yahoo for $30 million, making Nick Delisio a teen millionaire with a net worth of over $30 million. Number 2. Brandon Agronop made millions selling socks. Agronop started his firm, Hoopswag, as a project based on creating personalized sports socks when he was still a junior in high school. Since then, it has grown into a throbbing internet corporation with yearly earnings reaching $1 million. Agronov started his initiative in 2013 after noticing that all of the players in the basketball game at his school were wearing the same plain Nike socks. He wondered if people would be willing to purchase such plain socks and would be astonished to see colorful and creative designs imprinted upon them. The junior high student spent more than six months researching the equipment and technology needed for custom printing on fabric. He then went on his parents with his idea, who agreed to lend him $3,000, set up shop in the garage with the help of his family, set up the equipment, and began marketing on the social media. Five years later, Hoopswag relocated from the garage into a 1,500-square-foot structure that they constructed on their property. At this time, the company has over 200 original designs available on the market, ranging from melting ice cream to different amusing ideas. With the acquisition of Arrival, the addition of over 300 additional designs to its portfolio, daily shipping of more than 100 orders, and employment of over 18 people, business is undoubtedly brisk and expanding, making Agronop a very admirable young billionaire. Number 1. Julian Goldmark and Emily Matson's Amy J. When they were only in the 7th grade, Emily Matson and Julian Goldmark founded the hair tie and had bad business Amy J. Since then, the company's items have been sold in more than 3,000 specialty stores across the North America and have been exported globally. Many famous people like Jennifer Aniston, Gigi Hadid, Kim Kardashian, and others have worn the company's products. The girls were initially inspired by their hair accessories worn in the TV shows like Gossip Girl. But they found the accessories to be too complicated and pricey for them to use. As a result, they decided to travel to LA's garment district to purchase the supplies they would need to create their designs. The girls began making their accessories as a hobby, but they had no idea that they would soon become members of the elite club of the young millionaires. That pastime was transformed into a legitimate company when Jennifer Aniston was photographed sporting one of their original hair ties on the red carpet. 
they joined their names, called the initiative and business MEJ, built a website, and began to gain popularity. MEJ later worked with companies like Revolve, Juicy, Couture, and Summer Fridays. Did you like the video? Be sure to submit your answer in our comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to us.